everyone this is Preeti we are here with the another question of exercise 9.1 page number 182 question number 3 give four rational numbers equivalent to we have three parts given first one is minus 2 by 7 second one is 5 by minus 3 and the third one is 4 by 9 so we have to write four rational numbers equivalent to the given rational numbers so Start with the first one, we are having minus 2 by 7. Now, for the next one, first of all, like we have done in the last question, question number 2, we have multiplied with the 2, 3, 4 and 5, the same we will do here for finding the equivalent fraction. So, first I am going to multiply minus 2 by 7 by 2. Then, 2 to the 4, minus 4 by 7 to the 14. This is the first equivalent rational number now again i'm going to multiply it by the 3 then 3 to the 6 and 7 3 is 21 minus 2 by 7 multiplied by 4 4 to the 8 and 7 4 is 28 now minus 2 by 7 multiplied by 5 then 5 to the 10 and 5 7 is 35 so these are the four rational equivalent numbers they are minus 4 by 14 minus 6 by 21 minus 8 by 28 and minus 10 by 35 so this is the part one now comes to the part two in the part two we are having 5 by minus 3 so same first of all i'm going to multiply it by the 2 then 5 to the 10 3 to the 6 now we are going to multiply it by the 3, 5 3 is a 15 and 3 3 is a 9. Now for the next one we will multiply it by 4, then 5 4 is a 20 and 4 3 is a 12. Now for the next one I am going to multiply it with the 5, then 5 5 is a 25 and 5 3 is a 15. So the next 4 equivalent rational numbers are 10 by minus 6. 15 by minus 9, 20 by minus 12 and 25 by minus 15. So this is the part 2. Now the part 3, in the part 3, the rational number is 4 by 9. So we are going to multiply it by 2, 3, 4 and 5. 4 to the 8, 2 9 is 18. So first one is the 8 by 18. Now 4 3 is 12 and 3 9 is 27. So this one is 12 by 27. Now 4 4 is 16, 4 9 is 36. So the next one is 16 by 36. Now 5 4 is 20 and 5 9 is 40. Five. So this one is 20 by 45. So these are the four equivalent rational numbers. 8 by 18, 12 by 27, 16 by 36 and 20 by 45. So this is the part 3. With this one we have completed the question number 3. In the next video we are going to start with the question number 4.